Me, joined by my co-host Olivia. Taxes are probably the most confusing concept I had to grasp when I first started my personal finance journey. Honestly, I completely agree with that. I had to do a lot of digging in order to find out how any of this works. This is why this episode is dedicated to giving you guys the resources you need to make this journey a lot easier. Let's start off with what the government is providing for us. The IRS actually has a website, irs.gov, where it provides access to tax forms, publications, instructions, and tax-related tools. What I like the most about this is that it offers resources for specific groups, such as individuals, businesses, tax professionals, and nonprofits. So they have a tool called the Interactive Tax Assistant to help answer common tax questions. It's essentially a search engine, just like Google, where you can ask a question you have and we'll provide you with a list of resources. They also have a tax withholding estimator, which assists in adjusting withholdings to ensure the right of that um, the right amount of tax is being withheld from your paychecks. If you're an employer, this would be really helpful, but even if you aren't, you can use this as a way to make sure the right amount is being withheld. So there are six total steps when you use this tool, with the last one being getting your results. So you start off by filing basic information about yourself, like your status, if you have a job that regularly withholds federal income taxes from your paychecks, and if you're a dependent, or if not, if you're 65 plus or have blindness. Next, you fill in your income and withholdings. This means that you have to mention your first income source as well as other income sources of income if you have any. They will also ask you how long you've held the job this year, how frequently and how much you are getting paid. Then it covers the withholding of taxes. The third step is adjustments to income, and it has a list of all possible deductions you can get based on your financial situation. The fourth step includes standard and itemized deductions. It will show if your itemized deductions are better than your standard as well. Because keep in mind, you can only pick one of the two. And then in your fifth step, it will ask you to fill in any tax credits you have, which we already covered last episode. And finally, you get your results in the last step. State-specific tax departments or revenue agencies also provide information on state tax laws, forms, and filing requirements, as well as offering their tax portals, calculators, and extra information. We recommend searching up the state you live in and adding words such as tax information, tax laws, or tax calculators after the state name to get more accurate results. Right. The next source that we highly recommend is one of my favorites, and that's educational websites like Investopedia, The Balanced, NerdWallet, or Yahoo Finance. The best part is that these are all free. They offer extensive tax-related articles, guides, and even tutorials catering to different levels of tax knowledge. I personally have a lot of experience with Investopedia because my teachers use it a lot in my business or like finance classes. And I do have to say that it's extremely helpful in understanding any topic you can think of because Investopedia has this financial term glossary with articles on every single one of them. There's like words on there that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, and me personally, I prefer Yahoo Finance for investment news because whenever I've done any stock market analysis or any investment planning, it's been very helpful for getting up-to-date news about the stock market and relevant information like relevant world events or anything that might impact my choices. Yeah, I agree with that. Actually, like I have Yahoo Finance on my phone and I get like about 10 notifications every day on different industries in the, yeah. um, the the world. So now let's look into some tax preparation software. Last episode, we talked about how to file your taxes, but sometimes it can still be a little tricky. There are free softwares like TurboTax, H&R Block, and TaxAct, which guide users through the tax filing process with step-by-step instructions, calculators, and explanations. And the best part is that they'll tell you what deductions or credits you qualify for you without you doing any of the work. That's very helpful. They even offer varying levels of service, from simple returns to more complex tax situations, including small business taxes and investments, and even the credits that you know that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, and a lot of those financial institutions, like banks, often conduct seminars, workshops, or webinars on tax planning, retirement accounts, and investment strategies. And they might also provide resources or advice on tax implications related to loans, mortgages, and savings accounts, which are a little bit trickier than basic returns. Yep. So make sure to check your bank's website to see if they provide any of these or go to your local bank and ask someone who works there to inform you on these opportunities. If your bank doesn't provide any resources or you just want to look at other possible opportunities, 
consider looking into professional organizations like the American Institute of CPAs and or a National Association of Enrolled Agents. They offer resources, continuing education, and support for tax professionals. Yeah, and they also provide access to updated tax laws, networking opportunities, and professional development resources. You can even look into online communities and forums to get your questions answered because someone probably has the same questions that you do. Platforms like Reddit's r slash tax or Quora allows individuals to seek advice, share experiences, and ask questions related to taxes from a community of peers or professionals. You know, if you search something up on Google, there's probably someone on Reddit who had that question eight years ago, and there's probably an answer that might still be relevant. So it's always good to try. Yeah, definitely. These platforms can provide int- insights into real world tax scenarios and solutions as well, because a lot of these people, since it was eight years ago, they're probably like 40 at that time. So, you know, They probably have more experience than you do. Yeah. And then going to your local library is also a great option to navigate through any confusing questions you may have. They have a ton of tax-related books, business-related books, everything that helps you with this subject, and publications covering various aspects of taxation. And the best part is that the books and libraries usually cater to different audiences, ranging from beginners to experts, providing information in an easy-to-understand manner and offering in-depth insights for anyone who's looking for more detailed explanations. Some good books are J.K. Lasser's Your Income Tax, The Earnest and Young Tax Guide, or The Complete Idiot's Guide to Tax tax deductions. These provide comprehensive information on tax laws, deductions, and credits. These guides often simplify complex tax concepts, concepts, offering examples and even practical advice. Some libraries also host workshops, seminars, or events on tax-related topics, providing opportunities for attendees to interact with tax experts, ask questions, and gain practical knowledge by just being guided Libraries often subscribe to online platforms that offer a wide range of tax-related information, allowing patrons to access the resources from library computers or remotely using library membership credentials. And another resource I think goes unrecognized is the librarians themselves. They're extremely valuable, and they can assist you in navigating the library's collection of tax-related materials and guiding you to finding specific books, publications, or online resources that apply to your particular scenario. Libraries can also offer reference services where patrons can receive help in locating information, understanding tax terminology, and conducting research on tax-related queries. If you are able to spend extra money in learning more about taxes, you can look into financial advisors or consultants near your area. They can definitely offer guidance on tax planning or do it for you. However, we recommend using the resources we previously mentioned before resorting to this. There are so many free resources available online, you should take advantage of them. And if you're a college student, some educational institutions have tax centers or clinics staffed by accounting or tax students supervised by professionals. These centers offer pro- often provide free or low to low-cost tax preparation services and guidance to low-income individuals of certain demographics. You can talk to your advisor if you don't know where to start looking for all these resources at your specific college or university. This is more general, but sometimes a simple Google search can also just help you find your answer. If you're having a hard time figuring out something, just search it up. Yeah, that's true. And if you're struggling with calculating something, you can search up what you're having difficulty with and just type calculator right after that. You should definitely get some good results. We hope you guys use the resources to your advantage and help you feel more at ease if you're struggling with anything tax related. That's all for today.